Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you installation of MySQL. Also, I will be showing you how to use it. So, let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and just search for MySQL download. And guys, here you can see official website mysql.com. Just click on this link. So, it will redirect you to this download page. Just scroll down and here you can see MySQL Community Downloads. So, now it will uh, redirect you to Community Downloads page where you can see various products. You need to click on MySQL Installer for Windows. And here you can see it's showing you MySQL Installer and it has already selected the operating system Windows and two types of installer available. I am going to select the second one and I am going to click on this download link. So, guys, here it's showing me login and sign up i'm not going to do anything just click on this link no thanks start my download okay so you can see my download has been started we will wait for it okay guys so you can see my download has been done now to start the installation we are going to click on this msi okay i'm going to minimize my browser and here guys it is asking me permission so i'm going to click on just yes button okay guys my sql installer 1.6 has been started here you can see various products available i'm going to select custom and i'm going to click on next button and now here among the products i will be installing three three products mysql server mysql workbench and mysql shell so just expand the component and click on this arrow button so i have just expanded mysql server go on expanding and select mysql server and click on this arrow similarly do it for workbench and shell okay after this just click on next button so guys here it's showing me ready to install so all this product will be installed we need to just click on execute button this process will take a while so please wait for it okay guys so now my all the three product has been uh, installed it's showing me complete over here so now what we will do we will click on this next button and now here in the product configuration page we will be configuring what mysql server click on this next button okay guys here it's showing me the port number port number default for mysql is 3306 if you want to change you can change otherwise click on this next button now guys here it's showing me authentication method use strong password and use legacy i'm going to select use strong password so now i need to provide password you can provide any password just remember this password because we require this during login time as well as for whenever you want to use what workbench okay so you uh, here i have provided weak password no problem you can provide strong password and i'm not creating any user i'm just clicking on this next button okay guys now here it's showing me windows service so my mobile server will be uh, run in windows service with the name mysql80 and whenever you start your system the service will start you don't have to start manually so here you need to click on this next button here it's asking me server file permission so uh, yes grant full access to the user running the windows service just select the first option and click on next button now guys this is apply configuration so we have to click on execute button whatever option we have selected that all will be applied to my server so just click on this execute button okay guys so here it's showing me the configuration of my mysql server was successful here you need to click on finish button so now here you can see it's showing me in product configuration configuration complete so click on next button so guys here i'm getting installation complete my installation of mysql is done here it's showing me two options start the workbench and start the shell so i don't want to start anything i will be creating separate video for mysql workbench so i'm just going to click on this finish button so guys the installation of my sql server is done now i will be showing you how to use it so you can use by using workbench or by using command line client so i'm going to show you through command line client so here in search box what you need to do just type command line client and guys here you can see it's showing me the options so i'm going to just select command line client so guys here this is asking me my password 
password so i'm going to just enter my password so after entering password now i have entered correct password so the connection is successful now it has taken me to my sql now here i can type whatever query i want and i can execute it so guys i will be showing you a few simple thing like creation of databases creation of table so so that you get familiar with this uh, command line tool how to use it so uh, first of all i am going to create a database so create database sunita semicolon and hit enter guys so now you will get the message so now here uh, my database is created but i need to write one command use sunita so my default database is changed now to sunita okay now in this uh, i am going to create what my table so you can uh, show the databases also by using show databases command so for creating table i am going to uh, write a command uh, create table and then i am creating my favorite table students and in that i am creating a column roll number i am giving data type as integer and the second column i am giving as name and var care so you can provide the var care 20 30 uh, so i am providing it uh, maximum for name so after that close the parenthesis and put semicolon guys so now your table is also created now let's describe the table so to describe table we are typing desk students and semicolon so you can see it showing you your column name and data type now guys we will insert one simple row to it or record to it so for that i'm going to write insert into students values i'm giving row number as 1 and name as cs corner in single quote close the parenthesis put semicolon and done guys your record is inserted now what we will do we will display the record so for that just write a command select star from students and boom guys you can see your record has been added so guys now i will be showing you where the database has been stored so for that you need to just go to your c directory and there you have to go to this program data folder if it is not visible just go to view menu and check mark hidden and then here guys you can go to this uh, mysql and inside mysql you can see mysql server go to that folder and here you can see data folder click on it it will show you this message click on continue button and guys you can see the database which i created over here that is sunita database so uh, in data folder your all databases are stored okay guys so guys this way you can uh, download and install your mysql server and you can use it through command line client i hope guys by following my video you are able to successfully install mysql server on your system so that's all guys i conclude my video i hope you enjoyed watching my video if yes guys then don't forget to hit on like button if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel if really my video has helped you and guys hit the bell icon to receive notifications from my channel one more thing guys i have given my different social media handler in description box you can follow me there you can join my telegram channel uh, if you want to get free pdf and notes of computer science and it you can join my telegram channel thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care